But the X ray discovery is very, very lucky, I would say. Uh, because the telescope was actually pointing at some, somewhere else. Hello, my name is Andy, uh, and I work at Curtin University in the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research. We discovered a new long-period radio transients, we call it ASCAP G1832 in our galaxy. Uh, it emits bright radio pulses every 44 minutes. It belongs to a new class of cosmic objects discovered in recent years. It's the first such sources detected in both radio and x-ray. And what makes this more interesting is that uh, its x-ray also follows the same 44 minute cycle. Having both radio and x-ray is a typical feature for the highly magnetized dead stars. This discovery can help us to pin down at least part of the, this kind of long period radio transients are coming from these dead stars. Uh, but also, ASCAP G1832 does not quite match any of the noise sources in our galaxy, so we need further observations to help us to pin down what is actually going on. We use ASCAP telescope, operated by CSIRO, uh, located on Wajare Yamaji country in West Australia, uh, to monitor the radio sky regularly. The X-ray detection came from NASA's Chandra Space Telescope. The telescope was actually pointing somewhere else, but it accidentally catch the source when it went very, very bright in radio. And uh, a coincidence like that is really, really rare, just like finding a needle in a haystack. This discovery was truly a global effort because we analyzed the data from uh, the telescope all around the world, from Australia, South Africa, the US, uh, and also uh, India. And we also have amazing collaborators from all over the world to help us to work out what is the nature of the sources. Uh, this opens a new window for astronomers to further understanding these mysterious objects. And with the right tool uh, and with a bit of luck, we are well positioned to find them when they appear.